Hi there! So you're interested in the LFMBM mailer script? Well today we're going to go over the system settings and how to, to fill those out for you. So you're going to go to settings and system settings and you'll see a form come up. At the top of the form it's simply your site name. So this is a, a test site so it just says my viral mailer is typed in here and you can see that this is what's going to show in the tab when um, someone pulls up your site it says my bio my viral mailer the site description you can pretty much leave this blank this was for older themes um, and if you typed a site description in it would automatically appear in the header um, of your site so you're probably not using the, that old theme um, you can leave that blank the meta description, meta keywords, pretty basic, pretty simple, and it's for SEO purposes. Um, basic description of your site and your keywords. Admin name. So um, if this was going to be, uh, say, K Towns, crazy, crazy mailer or something like that, she would just put in her name right here. Um, the admin login and admin password when you set up um, and installed your script that would show that would already be in here so that's why this login is in here and the password of course doesn't show that doesn't mean it isn't there it is there um, but it, it doesn't show so you can change either one of those um, if you're not going to change the password from what it already is just leave it blank the admin email. This is the administrator email address and payment notifications um, from LFM will be sent to this address. So that means that any anything that runs through the IPN um, are going to be sent to this email address. The mail list from address. This is the address that will appear on emails sent to members when they sign up and on the emails you send from within the LFM admin area. So a lot of people that some use, you know, no reply, do not reply, or support at yourdomain.com. It would be, um, you know, a mailing address to your domain that you've set up in your cPanel. Bounce notifications can be sent to you, um, and this is this is the address you're going to want to put in from there. Now bounces take a heavy load on the servers so um, hosts will be grateful that I that I mentioned this. I would recommend using you know like a Gmail address for for this particular field because you're already getting bounces back which are heavy loads on the server and if you put in some um, a mailing e address from yourdomain.com um, it's making the server work even harder because it's using your server again to send these to you. So I would recommend having these go to a Gmail address. Banner text ad configurations. <clears throat> um, per member is re recommended and it is the default. You can also have it done um, per ad, which means it would just rotate just like it says per ads. Um, allow duplicate ads. <clears throat> if checked, a member can submit the same banner or text ad multiple times. And this is not recommended unless you're using um, the per ad recommend per ad field above. <clears throat> Use banner and text impressions. Uh, this keeps banner and text impression balances so members can buy or earn commissions for banners and text ads. The default banner images and default text ads, image and targets, those are just defaults that you would put in there in case members did not have impressions assigned to their ads. So um, you can change these or leave those. Basically what they are is so that a member doesn't see just a blank, uh, blank image there. The next thing is keep message stats. It's the number of days before the stats are deleted for a sent message. You can set it to zero to de never delete message stats. I wouldn't recommend that because it would make your database huge, but you can put in the number of days here. Remind unverified members. Um, say, excuse me, say a member um, 
is still unverified after three days. Well, the script, if you put three days in here, the script will automatically send out a re-verification email, a reminder to verify. If after seven days, you know, um, they're still unverified, the script would go in and delete it. So you can put in whatever, say you want to send them another one after one day, um, if they haven't verified after one day, and then three days, um, they're still unverified, you just have them deleted. So whatever amount you would want in there, you can put in. The member menu configuration is the buttons that that will be on in the navigation panel on the members homepage. Um, and if you're setting up a forum, you can click that one as well. Member and affiliate configuration. The site URL is basically your domain. Um, this is the URL that your affiliates will use to refer new members. Use the theme on the sales page. Um, if this box is checked, then the header and footer of the selected theme will automatically be added to your sales page um, template. So when you go to the templates area, all you have to worry about is your ad copy because your themes are automatically going to show if this is checked, your, your header, your footer, your theme. If you uncheck it, then you're going to when you go to your templates area to change your ad copy, you're going to have to make sure that you put in the code for your header and footer. So why not just make it easy on yourself and keep this checked. Show referral email means that uh, if you check this this box, um, your members will be able to see the referral emails. When they click on their referrals, they'll be able to see their referrals emails there. Um, by doing so, I just want to caution you, they might want to spam, um, especially in a mailer script, they might want to spam uh, their downline. Require email verification. This just basically means if it's checked, then new members must click the verification link in their email before they can log in. Send downline notifications. Um, pretty basic. If you check this, it just means that they'll get they'll get an email telling them that they have a new member in their downline. First cookie gets the sale. Basically what this is, is let's say John Doe signs up to your site, he takes his affiliate URL and he puts it advertising all over the place. Okay, so say he goes and he puts it on Hits Viral and um, there are a number of people at Hits Viral that are also advertising your mailer. Um, somebody decides to click on John Doe's ad, well, there's a cookie from someone else who was advertising your mailer. The first cookie gets a sale. John Doe will not get that sale if you check this. Um, if you keep it unchecked, whoever is advertising that URL will get that, that sale. Provide banner URLs. Basically what this means is that um, if you leave it checked, the members will be that use your banners to rotate and other exchanges will be using your bandwidth. If you uncheck it, it means that they'll still see the banner in the affiliate toolbox, but um, they would have to right click on it, download it to their computer, and then upload it to their server to use their bandwidth to run your your banner. So by leaving it checked, they'll be using your bandwidth to run your banner. Member level flow throughs. What this means is that if you have, um, say, three membership levels, free, silver, and gold, um, the silver members would be able to see any content that you have on the free members page. Gold members will be able to see gold, silver, and free. Free are only going to be able to see their content. So you, you could set it up where um, each level has special things, you know, special products or, or whatever, and the top levels will be able to see all content below them. Minimum commission payment. Um, this is just the basic minimum that your members can reach to cash out. So um, you don't want them to be able to cash out before $10. You'd put $10 in there. 
split testing. <clears throat> this is a nice feature to maybe try out different ad copy, especially if you're just starting out uh, a new site, a new mailer. Um, you can split test up to three pages. So this means that you can set up in the templates area, you can set up three different sales pages which will rotate and it'll keep track of how many signups you're getting from all three pages. You know, like, so maybe you'll find out that page two is really getting the most signups. So then you just want to go to one page and, and use page two because it, it was being more effective than the other pages. The file library um, is where all your products go that um, you're either going to sell or give away, um, you know, like ebooks or, or whatever it is that you're going to give away, and they automatically go under this folder. Um, you, can, you can change the file library folder if you'd like. You can create a different one. If you do that, um, you need to create the directory on your server first and set its permissions to 777. And you should leave, um, you should include the leading and the trailing slashes when you put that in here. Enabling file protection, um, if you check that, it just enables the .hta access file protection onto that directory. PHPBB is really a forum. So if you're, if you're going to set up a forum to link with the site, um, then once you've set up the forum, you are going to fill out all this information from your forum. And if you want members that sign up to be also members of the forum, write it sign up. You're just going to um, check this box right here. And once they sign up at your site, they're also a member of the forum as well. Autoresponder settings, <clears throat> kind of the same, same thing if you want the members from your mailer to be um, members on your autoresponder list, um, then all you have to do is select one radio button. So if, say, you have Traffic Wave, all you do is select that uh, radio button there and only fill out the fields for the Traffic Wave settings. So you put in your Traffic Wave username and the ca campaign name for this list. Um, miscellaneous configuration, um, this enables background mail sending and it requires the web server to have command line access to PHP. So it's something that you'd need to work with um, the, your host about. Uh, we do recommend that you read the documents before turning this feature on. Once you've filled in this form, all you have to do is click Update General Settings and you're good to go. So I hope this helped to explain all about the, the system settings. Thank you and have a great day.